Have you checked the Hey everyone, welcome back to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And you got Jaime and Fuego here in and house this time. <laughs> that's right, yep, yep. We're here to record a few different reviews, and uh, one of the ones that we wanted to touch on is a movie that is getting a lot of buzz right now. It's on YouTube, and much like Hosts uh, was when it first came out, yeah, uh, or, and, you know, and, and yeah. still is, yeah. It, this is an hour long, an hour and two minutes, mm -hmm. and... Um, this is a movie called Milk and Cereal, and it's actually from a couple of creators that I'm familiar with from their TikTok comedy sketches, um, of which I've seen quite a few, and they're, they're always entertaining, so I always watch them. I didn't know that they were the ones behind this film until a few days before actually watching it, and I was like, wow, that's weird. Okay, cool. Well, that's interesting. You know, I'm a fan of when YouTubers turn filmmaker, yeah. being someone that's trying to do that as I well. I mean, talk to me. It just happened, right? Yeah, so, the yeah, Rocker which Rocker is, guys, which is exactly. an excellent movie. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I was definitely interested to watching it, or to watch it, especially after seeing uh, Chris Stuckman review it. Yeah. And, uh, that was a big you know. red flag for me, and not in like a bad way, but like an <clears> attention <throat> grabber. Variety had a write-up this past week before we filmed this review about it. So, yeah, yeah it's a, it, it's getting eyes upon it. I don't know how long it's been out on YouTube for. Do you? Uh, I'm not sure. I can yeah. check real quick. But... Yeah, but uh, yeah, but so milk and cereal, but yet cereal not spelled like you know <laughs> the the breakfast food item spelled like cereal killer. Just mm -hmm. to be specifics with how they're kind of melding worlds and terminology together and stuff like that and it is a found footage and it's been up three weeks okay so yeah it, it took a little while to half a million views. get the swell of sorts of attention mm -hmm. you know pointed at it so yeah i don't typically like found footage and i mean if we're just going to jump into overall thoughts yeah. i didn't know anything about these guys i wasn't familiar with them previously and as far as found footage goes i found this actually pretty enjoyable i mean i wasn't like over the moon for it or anything but i liked the pivot that it made about halfway through with a little bit of a twist sort of bit put some things in different perspective i was less about the whole hey we're prank boys and that's what we do and we're trying to one up each other which is a big plot point and are the pranks real or is stuff getting a little more serious is kind of what it delves into i didn't think performances were that bad and when there's a certain turn with one character i actually kind of bought into it i, I don't know how you felt but yeah i i, I liked it you know so. Yeah, I enjoyed it well enough. Um, I, I think that, again, this is something that has already started to um, gain such a, a groundswell that mm -hmm. it, it was yet another example of burden of expectations, yeah. right, as we talk about so often yeah, on the channel. Yeah, true, true. Um, and so I had lofty hopes, and it was good. It was well done. It is found footage, but it is very choppy in my estimation the, the editing yeah. was was very very choppy and i definitely think there was a lot of room to expand um being that it was only an hour and two minutes and mm -hmm. i and apparently they did cut 25 minutes out of the film Weird. um mm -hmm. and so i i feel like if the if that's all the places that i feel like needed to be expanded you know then that might have been the better version of the film to release but I can see in the youtube yeah. generation you know they are <laughs> the YouTubers. shorter the shorter the better, the better. Yeah, yeah yeah the the quick cuts um uh, keeps people's attention longer mm -hmm. than than otherwise uh pre you know films presented otherwise so yeah um it, it, it's interesting and i applaud it for what it is for sure micro budget um, yeah. apparently <laughs> it, it was made for eight hundred dollars yeah. and um so yeah extremely micro budget our first short cost more than that and it mm -hmm. was a, a nine minute short is that the new guy no or sweet, that the sweet, sweet one? Was, okay. uh, yeah. was just under two grand mm -hmm. um but you know we had to get the location and the costumes and all sure. that stuff sure. Um, this was just, it, it, it felt very much like friends just filming and, and, you know, just YouTubers doing their thing. Which fits um, in with how they present yeah. the story, I guess. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I agree. I feel like the, uh, the, the turn in the story, I mean, the, that, that was the path that was, I wanted yeah. to see explored a little bit more, mm -hmm. which I felt like they were just trying to get to the finish line in some ways. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So yeah, the story simply put is like you said, it's about two YouTubers um, just trying to, they're like the prank bros. And Milk and seven. <laughs> Milk and seven. And yeah. they, they constantly try and one-up each other with pranks. And one of them gets out of hand. And then how do they handle everything once that, you know, snowball starts downhill? The escalation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, without spoiling. So mm -hmm. that's that's basically what happens. And then 
there's a turn for a character where you realize that not all has been as it seems. But there's an interesting hint when there's a, a comment about a cat, which is early in the movie. Yeah, and yeah. you're not sure if they were being like honest or just pranking because that's one thing that this movie falls back into a lot is like, okay, you're just effing with me, right? You're still you're joshing me, you're messing with me, you're trying yeah. to trick me, and so uh, that that was the first thing where I just kind of I raised my eyebrow a little bit. Um, and there's a couple cool bits of dialogue that I did find genuinely creepy. One bit about drinking from a wine glass and mm -hmm. being half something else besides wine. I thought that was kind of creepy. And so there are a few unsettling moments in this that I thought, you know, as far as like little story beats and creepy aspects of dialogue, I thought were fairly effective, at least for me. So Yeah, yeah, there were moments of creepiness. And there was definitely some interesting choices made by some actors in it. Um, uh, as but, far as performance? Yeah, as far as performance yeah, yeah. goes, I do think that the acting was, you know, just kind of, it, it was it was passable. I mean, yeah. it wasn't it wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, but it was it, meant to be loose, I think. Yeah, and, yeah. And they got that across well enough, yeah, I, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, I mean, nothing really blew my socks off no, or anything no, like no, that. But um, it, it, it all worked fine. And then uh, effects-wise, there's not a ton to speak of. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a little bit here and there, and it's done fine. Yeah. Again, nothing really to speak of. I like the little um, collection bit you see for around a minute, where like showing off certain things that the person had collected over yeah. over the the course of. Uh, well, yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, too yeah, much. Exactly, so. <laughs> yeah, dancing around, but. Yeah, um, I, yeah, that I mean, was that cool. was fine, too. That yeah. was fine, too. A lot of cutaways of when things are actually, like, with the brick and yeah. the different bits, you know? Yeah, trying to do the clever editing kind mm -hmm. of thing, but with as many chops as they had, like, they didn't really need to try and do the cleverness. Mm -hmm. they just chop around it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, ultimately, I don't feel like... I mean, the filmmaking was just found footage. It wasn't overly innovative found footage or anything like that so because yeah, with a lot of found footage now we see the combination of both found footage and more professional yeah filmmaking at times yeah. yeah at times yeah yeah this one went you know straight very much for that youtube tiktok sort of approach you know the, of that generation very you know lo-fi i guess you could say in some ways but um yeah yeah i i still enjoyed it though you know now that i think yeah, more, I a, a, a little I bit mean, more about it but yeah i mean i don't know if i would have wanted to spend money to go out to the theater to watch this but you know, the, the price was definitely right to watch for free on YouTube, I guess, you know, yeah. for only an hour of my time. Yeah, that's fair. So, so yeah, guys, I don't want to say much more than that. Um, that's our thoughts on Milk and Cereal. Give it a try yourselves. It is free on YouTube. It's only an hour of your time. Go make up your own mind on it. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people that are really enjoying it. Um, we just weren't two of those people that were completely blown away by it. No, so, definitely um, but again, it's not bad. It's definitely worth at least one watch again, free. So um, it's the right price, and um, you know I think these guys are have got some interesting stuff ahead of them in their careers. So. Yeah, agreed. So yeah, guys, um, that's going to do it for our thoughts on milk and cereal. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you've seen it. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird and Gracias, Seven Honey and Fuego. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.